Hey guys, it's me again. Today, I'm gonna be doing, I believe, my first ever unboxing on this channel. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and it's for a game that just came out on the Switch, I believe, today. It's a game I know nothing about, other than the fact that, um, my grandma came over earlier in the week, and she was like, Hey, by the way, you've got a game that I ordered you come in Friday, so... I do know what the game is. Um, I actually announced on my main channel that I was going to be doing this, but I didn't announce what the game was just because I wanted to keep that a surprise. And yeah, again, I know nothing about the game, but I'm very excited to start playing it. And yeah, on this video, basically, I'm just going to open it up, show you guys the case, the game, and all that. Um, I will go ahead and play it for a bit, and then after that, I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the game. Well, probably not my final thoughts, just my first impression after playing it, I suppose. But, um, after hearing what the game is, even though I don't know anything about it, I do know what it is, and that alone makes me excited, and wow, this is beautiful looking, except, uh, yeah, well, here the game is, it's Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I am excited, though, because it's Marvel. I see tons of awesome Marvel characters on there. And then there's also Captain Marvel, so I'll forgive that, though, because everything else looks amazing on here. Um, here's the back. It says, Assemble your dream team and prevent galactic devastation. Over 30 characters team up with friends. Well, this looks really cool. I've never... I don't think I've played any of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. I feel like, I feel like maybe I have back... On the Xbox 360, I don't know what one that would be though. Um, and then down here it says you can do one to four players split screen, one to four players on tabletop mode, and then obviously if you have the Joy-Cons hooked up to the Switch and you're playing that way, you can only have one player. But it also says it supports online down here, like it also kind of mentions right there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna open this game up now. Let's just cut this plastic so I don't spend like five minutes trying to find the spot where you're supposed to peel it, and. I don't know. I think... Um, I don't usually do this with my Nintendo Switch games. Sometimes I do, just out of curiosity to see if they change it, but I think I'll actually taste test this game, just because... If you guys didn't know, Nintendo covers their Switch games in a weird chemical thing that tastes terrible, so that way little kids don't eat them. Um, and, oh, here's the inside of the case, real quickly. It's got the Infinity Stones right there. That looks beautiful. Um, I, I wonder if this has... Like, I, I doubt it, but I wonder if... The characters in this are supposed to have done all the things they did in the cinematic universe. So, like, I wonder if we'll see any references to, like, Endgame and stuff in here. That would be really cool. But here are the little cartridges. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus on that. There's the cartridge. Um, let's taste it. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, ugh. Okay, I did that. Oh, gosh. Um... It's weird, it has like, no taste, but it's so bitter. Oh, my, my camera's out of focus too, oh. Well, um, I'm gonna take a couple minutes to recover from that, and then I'll go ahead and play the game for a while, and then I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back after playing about 10 to 15 minutes, I say. Um, and I've gotta say, I'm really enjoying the game so far. So... There are some cutscenes, so I know some people don't like cutscenes. I don't know if there's a way to skip them. I didn't try, but the ones that I saw were very entertaining. They, they're very well done. And one thing I liked is whenever there's a new character introduced in the game, it sh shows you their name, and then it says a comedic little line about the character, kind of describing them. And so those are nice. Um, the combat's really good. I liked that. And the first mission you start out on is with the Guardians of the Galaxy, so you have several different characters you can play as, and there is a bit of a boss fight early on in the game, so it gives you a good chance to experiment with switching out to different characters during the fight, because each character is good at different things. You have some characters that are good at ranged attacks, some characters who are just overall tanks with melee attacks who destroy anything they hit, um, and then you have character, some characters can fly, like Star-Lord can fly, so I was using him a bunch when there were tons of enemies to avoid getting hit as much. Um, and yeah, you, you really, it allows you to strategize a bunch with the different characters you're given. Um, and also, there's one thing I always like in games, I always like trying to collect as much money or in-game currency as you can. Um, and in this game, from what I've seen so far, I'm sure there's probably different things once you get to different areas, but 
on the first mission there's these little boxes that you break open and get stuff and those were really satisfying to break open and collect the stuff from so that's always fun i always love when um when games have really satisfying to get money in the games and then also um another thing i like that's kind of similar to that is i love when games reward you for your exploration and stuff and going out of your way to go somewhere that you're not supposed to go well it's not that you're not supposed to go it's the way you're not intended to go and on this game i found a couple times that when i go out of my way to explore an area that isn't necessarily somewhere you're you're needed to go um there were different like little treasure chest type things that i could break open and get really cool stuff from so it it does that too it does a great job at that um the graphics for the game aren't the most demanding they're not they're not trying to be super realistic they are a bit cartoony um they're not super cartoony to the point where it's like um like a normal comic book that it's kind of in between normal cartoon graphics and realistic graphics is like somewhere in between there um i let's see i can't tell um yeah not quite like the pictures on here a little more realistic than these but i do really like the graphics and with the graphics being the way they are i'm sure that the drop from xbox one and ps4 to the nintendo switch probably isn't too noticeable i know with some more graphically demanding games it can be but with this i don't really feel like it's gonna be just because, I mean, th there wasn't too much going on with them. But, you know, then again, with a game like this, graphics aren't the most important thing either. So, I'm definitely not complaining. I definitely like them. Um, now, I don't know how long this game's supposed to be. I don't know if it's a very, very big game. And I don't know what all it offers aside from the story mode. I didn't get a chance to check that out yet. But, this game is definitely very promising. I will pro I don't know. I've got to go somewhere in a few hours, but... Until then, after I get this video uploading, I'll probably be playing this the rest of the time I have today. Just because it's a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait for more people to start getting it so that way I can do the multiplayer with my friends. I'm sure that's tons of fun, I bet. And yeah, hopefully this game continues to get a lot of updates and stuff since it's still brand new. I think today's the day it comes out, actually, so I'm sure there's still tons of new content that we will be getting eventually. Um, I'd like to see DLC characters if... If that's a thing that they're going to do in the future, because I I don't know. It said something about 30 characters, so I guess they like to brag about the amount of characters they have on here, which is good. That's good that they have a lot. Hopefully, maybe we'll get DLC to add more too. I think that would be a lot of that would be really awesome because there are tons of Marvel characters, so I'm sure they weren't able to fit them all into this game. Actually, I know they were they weren't because there are way more than 30 Marvel characters, but. Anyway, the game's loads of fun from what I've seen so far. For $60, which is what I believe it retails for, um, it's totally worth it. If you're a fan of Marvel, if you're a fan of superheroes, definitely check this game out. From what I heard, apparently, some people were skeptical about it. That skepticism isn't well-deserved. This game's amazing, and I totally recommend it. But, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time.